Hey guys, what's up? Scott Lennox here from Fishing OC and Hooked on OC. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with my lovely wife, Kristen, and as promised from a couple of earlier videos, we're going to be bringing you some cooking stuff. Um, we did some things when the start of COVID happened with Hooked on OC, and they've been really, really popular. People tell us they love them all the time. We see them at the Ocean City Boat Show and all the different places around town. We even have people yelling at us on the bay while we're out there fishing, crab pie, <laughs> <laughs> oysters Rockefeller. People are yelling at us all the time, all the different recipes that we put on the show and on our website and stuff. So today we're going to make one of those for you. Uh, this is probably the most popular of everything that we've made over the course of five or six recipes, and it is... Crab pie. Crab pie, man. It's an absolutely delicious quiche kind of based yeah. um, recipe, but it's been shared on our, our uh, website probably 1,200 times or so, and it's really gotten around and people really love it. And here we go, man. Let's get right into it. Okay. Well, let's tell everybody what the ingredients are. Yeah. The first thing is we're going to have, this recipe will make two pies. So uh, we always get the deep dish pie crust. Yeah. Make sure it doesn't flow out. So get that. Keep that in mind. All these recipes are for two full pies. So you're going to eat one yourself. If you like it a lot, you can put it in the freezer and you can eat it in, you know, weeks later. Or if you're a generous person, you can give it to your mother. <laughs> like yeah, you're probably going to do. <laughs> And then uh, we have a pound of jumbo lump crab meat. Yep, got this down the street at Crabs to Go, our local seafood place. Eight ounces of Swiss cheese, and you can use any cheese. We've used uh, cheddar cheese before because yep. our son doesn't like Swiss so much. It tastes really good. But he's not eating this one, so. Well, yeah. And it, you can also use gru, gruyere cheese. Gru, gru, gruyere. Yeah, easy for you to say. Uh, flour is in this container over here. Yep. Three large eggs. One cup of heavy cream, not milk, half a cup of mayo. We have a teaspoon of lemon juice we're going to use, and of course, two teaspoons of Old Bay. I gotta have Old Bay, man. Maryland recipe, gotta have Old Bay. And a, approximately a quarter cup of uh, diced onion. I just do like a little palm of your hand. Yep. That's the taste, you know, the onions is, if people don't like onions, leave them out. It's, I like them, so I'll leave oh, them but yeah. you, you, can't, you can't stand onions, just leave them out. If you like onions, put a, put a half yeah. cup in there. Unless you're allergic to onions or you seriously hate them, you should put them in there. It gives yeah, it a little bit of background flavor. Yeah, so the first thing that we're going to do is, you want to do this? Yeah, sure. We're going to mix the onions, the eight ounces of Swiss cheese. Yeah, dump that in there. Oh. Yep. and a couple tablespoons of flour together. And we're just gonna give that a light little toss. Just, just, just enough to incorporate yep. these together, okay. Mm -hmm. Boop, just like that. That's literally just a few tosses and it's yep. ready to go. Okay, next. And then we're going to take our jumbo lump crab meat, and you all can use any crab meat you want. Um, I know crab meat's really expensive right now. Yeah. So anything that you can get or in the summertime when you can catch your own crabs, this is a great recipe yeah. for that. So we would like to fold it in carefully so that we don't break up the jumbo lump pieces in it. Do you know how to fold it? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna do that nice and carefully. Yeah. So like she's done here, you just, you, you drop a couple of uh, big tablespoons full in there and fold those nicely. And then you drop a couple of more fold those nicely so you go under and over yeah for anybody that might not have folded things before yep and then the last just like that there we go all right fold it up next okay the next thing we're going to do we're going to get our pie shells ready so i'm going to pull these over and i know that we had talked about it before but Make sure these are just plain pie shells, no graham cracker. <laughs> you said that one time, you've and gotta I laughed say that. thinking that <laughs> you've got to say that, man. People but guy, might if know you're that a guy, if you're a single that. dude and you're making this recipe, man, don't get graham cracker crust. No, just get your regular pie crust in the freezer section. Yeah. Right now, I'm just sprinkling in just a little bit of flour in the bottom of the pie shells. My rule is. Regular pie crust food, graham cracker pie crust dessert. Yeah, graham cracker is really good for sweets. So this is savory and not sweet. No. So we've got that ready. Then we're just going to take our uh, crab mixture and put half in each shell. Okay. All right, you're going to want to make these as even as possible just because you're cooking them both at the same time. You want them to cook evenly based on the time that we put them in the oven. Okay, so we're just going to set these aside just for a minute while we make the liquid okay. base that's going in here. 
So you can mix this in a big mixing bowl. I like to mix the liquids in our large mixing cup because just because it's this and we're planning on pouring it in a little bit. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add three eggs. One, two, three. We've got one cup of cream. One half cup of mayonnaise. You're doing good. Thank you, thank you. One teaspoon of lemon juice. And if you have fresh lemon, you can use that, which we do, I just didn't squeeze them. Yeah. This tastes just fine to me. It's from lemons. And then last but not least, the all important, Obey. Yeah, buddy. And we need two teaspoons of that. Oh, Put the teaspoon tea? over there. Yep, I got it. Okay. I'm going to kind of pour that one in a little bit. Boop. Huh. That was like one and a half. Listen, just man, to, this is one of those like things this. like you can just, you can let the Boop. old bay fly. Well, with, with cooking, you can add a little extra. That's with baking, saying. you got to be a little more That's careful. What I'm so then we're going to take that and whisk it all together. And I always double check my recipe to make sure I didn't forget and leave anything out. You can see how easy this is though. This is mm -hmm. super easy. The ingredients, um, it's only gonna be about 10, 15 minutes to get all this stuff ready. And then it goes in the oven and... This is one of our favorite recipes because we can make it up in the morning time, pop it in the refrigerator, go fishing all day. Yeah. Come home and... Kinda like we just did. Yeah, just like we did. <laughs> we were rock fishing earlier. Yeah. And then pop it in the oven. If you have company coming over too, this is a really impressive um, pie or crab pie to serve people and yeah. taste delicious. It's a great dinner. It's really good. And Even we, the kids uh, like it. We went up to the Route 90 bridge again. Those rockfish are still snapping up there. If you haven't seen that video yet, uh, I'll put a link in the description below. But we, the rockfish up at the Route 90 bridge here in Ocean City have been snapping. Okay, this looks good. Okay, perfect. So, the last thing we're going to do, here I'll put that in the sink. Okay. We're going to distribute the liquid over each of the crab pies, and we're going to try to do that. I'll, I'll take my time on this yeah. a little bit and just make sure that I don't that I get it kind of even and Same all around. Same thing. You want it, since you're in a measuring cup, you can do half and half and get it pretty precise. So this is the egg, the part that makes kind of like almost like the quiche. Yeah, we don't right. call it quiche just because we're not really quiche people. Real men don't eat quiche. We like crab. Many crab pie. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so this is one way to trick your your other half. Yeah, it's quiche. So pretty much got eggs. Crab in. pie. Isn't that the definition of quiche? Eggs. I think so. Yeah. I don't know. So now you have your two prepared yeah, crab pies Beautiful. ready for either the refrigerator, the freezer, or yep. in our case, the oven. Yeah, we're putting one of these in the. We're putting both of these in. Now I'm gonna cook one and save them. So we got one of these going in the oven. The other one's just going to go in a Ziploc bag uh, mm -hmm. and then go in the freezer. If you have a food saver, you could always put it in the food saver and you know, squeeze the air out of it. It'll probably last a little bit longer in the freezer that way. Um, but we just put it in a Ziploc bag, a gallon Ziploc bag, throw it in the freezer because yeah. it ain't going to last in the freezer too long. We're no, put it within a week. And I was going to say, it, it last never lasts long. long, so I don't know how long it lasts in the freezer, but yeah. you know, you want to eat it right as soon as you can. Okay, so the next stop, in the oven. Yep, yeah, but don't forget, Put it on one of these little trays just in case. Uh -huh. You never know if you're going to overflow something. So let's stick it on right. there. That way, if it bubbles out, it'll catch it. Okay. And What's our gonna, oven set at? Our oven is set at 350 degrees for 50 minutes. 350 degrees for 50 minutes. In we go. Okay. Oh, All right. There's our timer. 50 minutes is up. And then... Oh my gosh! Oh, look how good that looks. Whoa, that looks absolutely delicious. It smells good. All right, yeah, so 50 minutes in the oven. This thing, it looks absolutely delicious. And now we can't just dig in. What's, what's the No, deal? we have to wait. So once you get the, uh, the pie, crab pie, out of the oven, we have to let it sit for 45 minutes to an hour. The directions say an hour, but we usually wait about 45 minutes because <laughs> we can't wait. wait. four to five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, give it time as it needs to, I guess, yeah. set up. Whatever. We've done it this recipe every time we've done it and it's been absolutely delicious. Uh, so we're not going to break, we're not going to break routine on that. Yeah. Um, I think it's smart just, I don't think you got to wait that whole 
time, but. Well, you do have, to, it says an hour, so definitely wait 45 minutes. All right, 45 minutes. You have to I'll trust give, the process. 45 minutes, I'll give it. And uh, you all don't have to wait that long. It happens just like that. All right, so that was nothing but a finger snap on video, but that was a long 45 minutes. I know, it smelled so good. We <laughs> smelling in the, in the living room the entire time, man. And just, we weren't going an hour. There was no way we were going an hour. We usually plan better, but. Uh, if you can make it an hour, yeah. let us know, because I doubt that you're going to make it an hour. Um, and we might want to just change it on a recipe because it's fine. You know, once you cut into oh, yeah, it, it looks like it's I don't perfect know what the right extra now. 15 minutes is going to do, but um, it, it looks absolutely delicious. Yeah. I'm ready. Are you ready? All right, let's try let's it. it. Oh, look this at that. This came out I a little bit more brown, it. too. It's got like the jumbo lump crab meat right in my first bite. Oh, my God. Mmm. That's really good. Folks, you guys are yelling to us out there on the bay, crab pie. <laughs> we know why. <laughs> Really if good. somebody had made this and told me about it and I saw him out on the bay, I'd scream, crab pie! Uh, <laughs> as loud as I could. As Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is delicious. should definitely try it Absolutely if you have any delicious. crab meat. Mm. So the recipe is on our website as well. I'll put the link down in the description for the recipe you can find at fishinoc.com. Um, and it, as always, if you like what you're seeing, make sure you subscribe to the channel here. We'll be doing this stuff uh, probably all season long, making you different Maryland dishes and seafood dishes and things like that. All might of even our make favorites. It, yeah, might even make a dessert or two or something like that. And now that fishing has gotten started, we're going to be fishing on a way more regular basis. Those rockfish are snapping up the Route 90 bridge. First flounder is going to be caught here anytime now. And then the season kicks in. And don't forget, please, if you don't watch our show on Sunday mornings on WMDT, make sure you check it out here on YouTube. It's youtube.com forward slash unseen pro. Lots of other Ocean City stuff there, surfing, you name it. Other TV shows that, that Unseen Productions produces. Great channel to go and check out and subscribe to as well. And uh, hit the like button below. If you have any questions, leave that in the comments. But make sure you hit the notification bell. Subscribe to the channel if you can, and we'll bring you this all, all, all season long and beyond. Nice and make job. the crab pie. Nice job. <laughs> Thank you. All right, man. We'll see you next time. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, now you turn this off.